1 Samuel chapter 18, we'll begin in verse 1 and read through the end of the chapter. What you're about to hear is the word of God. It is living and active, and it is sharper than any two-edged sword. Please listen to it as it's read in your hearing. As soon as he had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was on him and gave it to David. And his armor and even his sword and his bow and his belt. And David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him. So that Saul set him over the men of war. And this was good in the sight of all of the people, and also in the sight of Saul's servants. As they were coming home, when David returned, excuse me, returned from striking down the Philistine, the women came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul, with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments. And the women sang to one another as they celebrated, Saul has struck down his thousands, And David, his ten thousands. And Saul was very angry. And this saying displeased him. He said, they have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. And what more can he have but the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from that day on. The next day, a harmful spirit from God rushed upon Saul. And he raved within his house while David was playing the lyre. 